Hey guys, welcome to another video for the legendary POCO F1 and in today's video we're going to install Android 12 Beta 3 port on the POCO phone F1. Well, there are a lot of things happening for this device and it makes me really really happy because that goes to show the true potential of this wonderful wonderful device. Now before we begin I would like to give a huge thanks and all the credit to Munchy because I came to know about this port through his video so I will not only be making an installation video I will also be making an initial impressions after this and we will be reading the changelog and a lot of things from his channel so do check his channel out he has the exact same videos and most of the times he has videos which are better than mine so go ahead and check it out and the only reason I'm making this video is for our family over here at phone ops who are also using the Pocophone F1. But before we get into all of that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. In the description of each video, you will find a link to our Telegram community where we have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting about ROMs, routing and stuff like that. So go ahead and join us there. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. Alright, so as I said, huge credit goes to Munchie and all the other developers who are making this possible. Right now we are on AeroOS. I'll tell you all the terms and conditions before we flash, but let's actually go through this long detailed post. This is a combination of what the developers have written and I think Munchie has done a lot of effort in this as well to make your life easy. So it's a humble request, read through the pinned comment on his channel or this channel, read this entire section and a lot of y'all still don't do it. So to make your life easy, I'm quickly going to read it out to you. Poco F1 Android 12 Beta 3 Ashwatthama Script Kiddy Build. Please read this post slowly and carefully. Do not spam any groups with issues about this build. Now there's a huge disclaimer. This build is highly experimental and should be flashed at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any damage to your device. Expect bugs and yeps. Helps yourself, help yourself and read the post. There are real developers out there who maybe in the future make better builds than this. This build is for impatient souls just like the developer who just want to taste the snow cone. If you do end up flashing this build, please let us know in YouTube video linked at the end of this post. That's Munchie's video, I believe. Comments what works and what doesn't. These are the credits. Erfan for his tool for GSIs. PHH, Platina Port Hub, Oof Gang, Pixel Plus UI, Silver Co Kernel, all Android 12 GSI Telegram groups for various fixes, my search skills, that's Munchie, not me. First build, broken, right. Volti seems to be dead. This means your carrier looks at Geo, uses Volti to make calls. Yeah, so you might have a problem there. Google Assistant, MicroSD. Now do remember to remove the MicroSD card from your phone completely before you flash this native video calling face unlock don't even think about it because this phone has ir face unlock offline charging on initial setup install all apps you need after you enable magisk hide might not install yeah apps might not install from play store okay don't enable magisk hide oh okay so we'll have to check that i'll probably do that when i do a quick review so what is working these are the things that are working pretty much uh, most of them are working pre-rooted install magisk apk manually safety net pass and magisk hide permissive build want enforcing write the se policy test and if successful buy yourself a beer because that's sort of difficult decrypted build didn't check for encryption but be my guest to check custom kernel try make sure data and cache are ext4 expect bugs and battery drain ims keeps crashing from time to time blame google these are the downloads the files that we need are the twrp majisk apk the rom and the firmware so how to install is something i am going to show you right now that was everything about this particular build and the credits part now let me keep this very very straightforward for you Make sure you have a Pocophone F1 which has more than 50% battery. Make sure you have removed all your Google accounts, all your MI accounts. You are decrypted. If you're not, still make sure you've removed your face unlock, your screen unlock, all the security related things. Make sure you've removed them. What next? Well, you need to backup, 
backup, backup. If you want more details on this, go to Manchi's channel. He will show you how to, you know, what is to be done for decrypted and encrypted users. Over here, what we believe at PhoneOps is, if you're gonna flash a ROM, make sure you do format data, which will wipe everything, your music, your pictures, your everything. So back up everything because decrypted or not, we are going to format data after installing the ROM, which will make sure we have a clean, clean flash and we don't have any problems at all. So we've mentioned the files, everything is ready to go. So let's go ahead and flash Android 12 beta 3. Now to do, that, to do that, the first thing that you need to do is, sorry, the phone is moving there. You need to go to restart, you need to go to recovery. Now the reason you see this cable over here, it's not the charger, it's the OTG pen drive that I have connected because uh, we're going to do format data and stuff. So I chose to, you know, keep things on the pen drive. So that will make our life easy. Now I am using this particular TWRP and as you can see on the screen right now, we are encrypted. Okay. So what we're going to do is, okay, right settings and we need a little bit of brightness. So screen timer and brightness. Okay. Here we go. Right. So wipe format data type in yes because my files are on the flash drive if you have them on your internal storage don't do this but make sure you have a clean system right now remove the micro SD SD card before flashing this please do that so go to reboot and select recovery now just to be safe we will reflash the recovery with the one which is used in this particular or recommended in this particular build. So what we're going to do is we'll go to install, select storage, we will select USB OTG, okay. Install image, this is the TWRP, select this and select recovery, swipe to confirm flash, okay. Now once again, we will go to reboot and we will select recovery, swipe to reboot. All right, now go to wipe, advanced, Dalvik cache system vendor data, and we don't have any files in there, so we can wipe internal storage as well. Okay, now the installation part. So go to install, and the first thing that we will flash is the firmware, right? So Poco F1, firmware only, add more zips, Ashwatthama build, this is the ROM, right? So as I said earlier, you need the ROM, you need the Majus KPK, you can just download it. You need the recovery and the firmware. That's the four things that you need. Swipe to confirm flash. Now this will take anywhere between one to two minutes to flash. So please be patient while that happens. All right, now, as you can see, everything has been flashed. Just go ahead and cross check and make sure that you don't have any errors, okay? Now for encrypted or decrypted users. Ideally decrypted users don't have to, you know, go ahead and format data, but let's go to wipe, format data, type in yes. Okay. Reboot system. Now, if you get a message which says no OS installed by TWRP, that means probably you had some errors in flashing and you should be able to, you know, go ahead and reflash it or start the entire process again. But if you do get that error, I would recommend go back to MIUI using a fast boot ROM and then go ahead and start over again. Let's wait for the phone to boot up. There you go. You do have the Google logo. Let's wait for the boot to complete. All right, so about a minute or two later, this should boot just fine. And this error is very, very normal. There is an internal problem and stuff like that. So ignore that. Google speech keeps stopping, close. Now you do see that, yeah. Google have done some really amazing thing with Android 12 and it looks really, really nice. So click on start. Now this particular screen, which says just a sec, you will see it for quite some time. And on top of that, uh, I do have a SIM card in there, but it doesn't have internet access because the internet access for me is on my K20 Pro and uh, the Poco X3 Pro and I am in a remote location, so. <laughs> Please excuse, let's wait for this to go to the next screen and then I'll quickly take you through the setup. Okay, now we are on the connect to the Wi-Fi network thing. So I'm gonna set it up offline so that I can show you the rest of the setup menu. 
the buttons and everything look pretty good with the beta 3 they have done quite a lot of changes which i really really like i'm not going to test the fingerprint scanner and stuff right now i will share all that information in the complete uh, preview when i make it swipe to navigate skip just still have the gestures swipe up to go home there you go right beautiful it's it's really really smooth from the first impressions that i have now i didn't try it before making this video so this is the first time even i'm having a look at beta 3 on the poco phone f1 so exciting stuff here the next video will be really really fun and once i get back to mumbai on the 22nd of july i will probably try to game on it i know it sounds stupid on a beta software but well that's fun and we do fun things on phone ops right let me know in the com comment section what do you think about this step-by-step -step install guide. Thanks to Munchie and all the others who made this possible. Until the next one, this is Kalash. Signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.